That travel ban is opposed by many of the biggest American tech companies, which employ tens of thousands of foreign workers. We have more from John Blackstone. When workers at Google's Silicon Valley headquarters left their desk to protest President Trump's immigration order, they flooded social media with images of their demonstration. I've spoken up strongly. The company's top executives joined them, including co-founder Sergey Brin, who was born in Russia. The U.S. had the courage to take me and my family in as refugees. This is the land of free. This is the land of opportunity. Iranian-born, Princeton-educated Hani Gudarzi heads a cancer lab at the University of California. He just canceled a trip to Canada for a scheduled speech, fearing as a green card holder he would not be allowed to return. I've lived here for really 10 years. Um, I really don't have anywhere else to call home. Uh, so absolutely, that feeling of not being wanted anymore, um, it really stings. Um, I, I cannot lie. Companies across the technology and biotech industries have condemned the president's immigration order. In Silicon Valley, immigrants are seen as essential to the growth that has made this one of the most innovative places on earth. Economist Robert Reich was labor secretary in the Clinton administration. You've got to understand, there has been for many years a brain drain from other countries to the United States, a lot of that to Silicon Valley. 37% of Silicon Valley workers are foreign born, nearly three times the number in the rest of the nation. Are they taking jobs away from Americans? There is no evidence that they're taking jobs away from Americans. They are adding jobs because they're, they're innovating and that creates more jobs for everybody else, for more innovators. Several major tech companies are putting money into the fight against the immigration ban, including Google, which has launched a $4 million crisis fund. And Scott, Amazon has filed a declaration in support of a lawsuit by the state of Washington challenging the president's order. John Blackstone in the Bay Area, thanks.